Number 84. Consider the similarities and differences in the two reaction diagrams shown in exercise 12.82. Do these diagrams represent two different overall reactions, or do they represent the same overall reaction taking place by two different mechanisms? And then explain your answer. So basically, I pulled up the exercise 12.82. Here are the two diagrams that they're mentioning, and we just have to know or we have to find out whether these two reaction mechanisms are two different reactions, so they have nothing to do with one another, or are they the same reaction, but just different mechanisms. Now, this one is pretty easy, right? Because if they were the same overall reaction, just one is catalyzed and one is uncatalyzed, the same overall reaction will have something in common. Right? There has to be something that was constant. And if you're dealing with the same overall reaction, that means that you have to have the same beginning and ending points. So the same beginning and the same ending. The reason being here is because your beginning is your reactants and your ending is your products. Now, even if you have a catalyzed reaction or an uncatalyzed reaction, it will never manipulate or touch the energies that the beginning and the ending have, or the reactants and the products have. So I'm just shooting over for the start and the end. That's it. I'm not even worried about looking at all this little mess in the middle. Don't get too, you know, confused up or tricked up with that. But now let's just look. Now, we always read these graphs from left to right. The starting horizontal is always going to be your reactants. So you got two horizontals on the start. They are both reactants. Let's see. If they are the same, that means that that energy value should be the same. Let's see. So we have 35 for this guy. And, oh, okay. And 35 for this one. So... For that part, seems like everything's good. The reactants have 35 kilojoules for the left one and 35 kilojoules for the right one. Now, let's zoom over to the ending, the products. If it's the same reaction, they should have the same products. And that is the horizontal line at the end. These are your products. And this is your products. Let's see, does that match? This product line is 15. So we got 15 kilojoules for the first product. Let's see, is it going to be 15? I don't think so, but we'll see. Ah, it's 20. If it is the same overall reaction, you should have the same numbers in the beginning and at the end. Those should never be changed. However, for the left reaction, products have 15 kilojoules. And the right one, the products have 20 kilojoules. Those are different. So because of that, we know that we have two different reactions. And explain our answer. We have two different reactions because the product energies are different. So the product energies are different. And that's how you basically tell. So always shoot from, you know, the start to the end. If everything is the same from the start to the end, it's the same reaction. But if you have different values like we have here, it's got to be two different reactions. And that is the end for this question. Oh, yeah. What'd you think? Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. And if you want to, you can subscribe to the channel, tell your friends, tell your classmates. Maybe we could help them out. And we just opened up memberships. So if you want to support us even more than you are, and you want to get shout outs, and you want to get your own personalized videos made for you, become a member. Um, and by that, you're helping us, which we help you in return. Thank you so much for, you know, all your support thus far. And I can't wait for this new school year coming up. And we'll be with you every step of the way. Check out for new stuff on the channel. And I'll be talking to you soon. Okay, bye-bye.